Have you ever felt like you were so small and insignificant that you are of no value or very little value in God's kingdom? So you see others who really stand out and uh, the lights are upon them shining while the shadows in the shadows you feel as if you are no real value to God's work. Well, if you ever thought that way, you thought wrong. Because God has a purpose for your life and it is just as important as Billy Graham's life. You say that is impossible? Well, listen to Jesus in Mark 10, verse 43. Whoever desires to become great among you shall be your servant. Jesus is talking about service and he's telling us, whoever you are, no matter how unknown you may be, there is a place in God's vineyard for you. Jesus puts the emphasis on humility, on humbleness or humility. Out of the light of the service as one being great, in one of his sermons, Martin Luther King Jr. talks about having a, being a servant of God's word. He said, everybody can be great because everybody can serve. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You don't have to make your subject and your verb agree to serve. You don't have to know about Plato or Aristotle, Aristotle to serve. You need only a heart full of grace, a soul generated by love. We see that in the poor widow woman in Luke chapter 21. She comes to the temple to make her gift to her God. Jesus is watching what she gives. And by the way, he does that every Sunday we go to church. He sees exactly precisely how much we give. The poor widow gave two little copper coins, which in purchasing power was practically nothing, but it was all she had. Then Jesus said something that didn't add up. Listen to his words. Of a truth I say unto you, Jesus said, this poor widow hath cast in more than they all, that is, all of the rest combined. Jesus says, for all these have of their abundance cast into the offering of God, but she of her poverty hath cast in all the living she had. Luke 21, verses 3 and 4. That is, she wouldn't eat until the next day when she had another day's wages. So out of sight, she is really greater than all. She is unknown, but she shines the brightest. Jesus puts it another way when he taught in Mark's gospel. Whosoever denies to become great among you shall be your servant. And whoever of you desires to be first shall be slave of all. For even the Son of Man didn't come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. Mark 10, 43 to 45. So the nobody becomes somebody when we serve in the shadows, when we take the role of the servant for Christ's sake. It's not easy, but it's the only way to real greatness. So, Heavenly Father, help us not to become discouraged because we're not up front where everybody sees us. But help us to take heart because we are the most important of all when quietly, gently, humbly we serve you in our own way. Thank you we can all be an important part of your kingdom's work. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.